In medical college, every moment not spent studying is spent thinking how to study for exam. In the last four years of my life, I have given more than 10 theory exams of which three were university exams. And throughout this time, I have collected the experience that I'm going to share in this video. I'm Abhijit, the final medical student from GMC Nagpur and in this video, I'll be telling you about my ultimate strategy to crack through the university exam of MBBS. Let's first start from the basics. The requirement for university exams are textbooks. It doesn't matter what textbook you use as long as you understand the topic. That's all. Second are notes. Those notes that you make by going through some PG classes, those notes that you make by reading the textbook, it doesn't matter. It just should be the notes that you are familiar with. They may be some digital notes. They may be the handmade notes. They may be something highlighted on the textbook itself. They just need to be familiar. Third part comes the important questions. These important questions are collected from the seniors. You can yourself scrub through them by reading through the previous year question papers and finding the most frequently asked questions. And the fourth, the most ignored part, according to me, especially in the new CBME pattern is the syllabus. Make sure you go and take a print of the syllabus and see all the required topics because those topics are the ones that are most important for your theory as well as practical exams. So those are the desired topics from you that you should know by heart. And those are the topics that are going to get you good marks and distinction as well. Now let's move ahead and get done with the step-by-step -step strategy about how to study for university exam. When I was in first year, I was a typical student who used to read the textbook, who used to revise the textbook, who used to make notes from the textbook and I was very ready for university exam. So when the exams came near, I just had to mark up all the important questions in the textbook, read and revise them again and again, practice and write them on a notebook and then read and revise that notebook as well. And all that hard work paid off and I got a gold medal in MBBS. But that ideal scenario changed when I came from second year to the third year especially because of covid i was at home and i couldn't study much all my focus was on the next pg exam that is going to happen in next year december so i could not finish reading the textbook and now that i'm in final year i'm just reading my notes i'm just trying to uh, finish all the lectures i'm just trying to go through this period and to be prepared for the next exam and that has caused a massive backdrop on my university preparation so in ideal case if you have read textbook if you have read notes just go through the important questions learn read revise and write them and you will be good to go for the exam with a distinction score but in a non-ideal case like me who has not read textbooks but who has finished all the lectures and made all the notes i am going to revise the notes again and again until the exam is near and in my case my preliminary exam is in 15 15 days. Now that I know this, I'm going to shift from reading notes to marking the important questions in the textbook. And once they are marked, I'm going to read and revise those important questions and hope that I learn those important questions in time. Now the problem with it is that you need to buy hard your notes and you need to have at least two revisions of the textbook so you can write a decent answer paper. And writing in itself is an art which is very very difficult. So you need to have writing practice as well. So to summarize, if you have not read the textbook but you have the notes ready, make sure you buy hard the notes go check the syllabus mark the important questions in the textbook and read those important questions at least twice before the exam if you have time make sure you practice writing the university exam answers in a rough book now let's get a case 3 scenario where for some reason you are not done with the textbook and for other reasons you are not done with the notes as well oh god now what you will have to get the important topics from your friends or from the seniors you will have to mark those topics from the textbook and you will have to read and stick to the textbook and hope for the best but you know what searching through the previous year question papers finding all the important questions and marking answers to all those questions in the textbook it all takes a lot of time and energy and sometimes you don't even find the proper answers when university exams are around the corner you definitely should not waste your time doing this so up kare kya? i have found a practical solution to this major problem what if someone goes through all the previous year question papers and find the most important questions and then read all the standard books and make the perfect exam style answer that will fetch you full marks in the exam. Basidia Med, that is the app that you are looking for. It has highlighted the keywords that the examiners want. It also has simple, easy to draw diagrams which will get you those extra marks and distinction. For the convenience, the questions are sorted according to the frequency from high, medium, low. You can also search for the answers to any questions by using the hashtag feature and the read aloud feature helps you revise on the go anytime, anywhere. For practicals, this app has a collection of the important slides 
and spotters that you can go through. You will also get the important clinical cases and the history taking format of those cases along with examination and viva questions and their answers. It is literally spoon feeding. You cannot get anything better than this for the university exams. Using this app saves me a lot of time and energy allowing me to choose and read the most important topics first. And if you use my code AA10, you will get an extra 10% discount on the app. The link is in the description. Don't forget the code AA10. Now that we are done with the basic requirements and the step-by-step -step strategy to study for the university exams, let's face the truth. No one really starts studying seriously for the university exams until after the prelims. When you get hit by the shock of the prelims, you get to know, oh God, I am not that prepared for the university exams and that's where the seriousness hits. And up until that time, it is a bit too late. So if you are getting serious for the university exam after the prelims, you should focus on learning all the important questions from the textbook directly. Get a textbook, mark all the important questions just as we did first, then read and revise through them and hope for the best. But of course, reading and revising is not that easy, especially the remembering part. So how to remember the textbook? You know, every textbook has the flowcharts and a diagram. Those are the things that the examiners look for in the answers. So make sure you write and practice all those flowcharts and diagrams in the rough book and revise it just one day before the exam so that it will be in your temporary memory and you can write something in the question paper. Okay, so now we know the step-by-step -step approach to how to study for the university exam, but time to limited hai. So managing time is also a big key factor in how you score in the final exam. And the time management is a skill that you will learn through practice. The basic tips are divide the time according to the subject, according to your own need. Some people might find that, oh God, obstetrics and gynecology are a bit hard and it needs six days to practice. For me, they are easy, so I'll just need three days. On the other hand, pediatrics is hard for me, so I'll need five days for it to practice. My point being, the time management and planning is subjective, but make sure you chalk out a rough timetable so that you don't procrastinate and slack off. That's very important for studies in the exam. Now that we are done with the theory part, let's not forget the practicals. In practicals, the most important cases are the most frequently asked. Make sure you read all these important cases from the practical books and textbooks as well, because the teachers may ask a lot of viva questions on this and that will give you extra marks. If you tell the exact word to word definition of the disease or disorder from the standard book, the examiner will be very impressed and will give you extra marks. So make sure you read those cases from the textbook. They are usually overlapping with the theory questions. So it is not that you are going to read something extra. So important cases are done. Slides and spotters are something you will find on the Basidia app or you will get it from the seniors themselves. The third part being the Viva questions and answers. That is something you will find in the practical books as well as in the textbooks and the Basidia app. So we are done with reading for the important cases and practicing the Viva questions and spotters. But sometimes it happens, right? You are in front of the examiner and the examiner asks a question. You know the perfect answer to that question, but you cannot utter the words from your mouth. You just freeze and the mind goes blank. Has it happened to you? It used to happen to me, especially in the first few vivas. So what I did was I asked my friends to take my viva for me. It gives you confidence. It helps in your active recall as well as it helps you get over the anxiety that you will feel in the viva days. Plus you and your friends are studying together and it will just double your productivity. So discuss it with your friends for practicals. Practice a lot of flow charts and diagrams for theory exams. Read the IMPs from the textbook and make sure you revise and learn the notes. This is all the takeaway from this video. I hope this video helps you even a little bit in your university exams. If it does, make sure you like the video and subscribe to this channel. And let me know in the comment section how your exams went by. This is Abhijit signing off. Happy studying.